Algebra 1, 7.1a, this is the coordinate plane in graphing terminology. This is a co Cartesian coordinate plane. It's named after René Descartes. He was a French mathematician and philosopher, and he lived from 1596 to 1650. Descartes blended algebra and geometry together, and his coordinate system enabled mathematicians to show lines and curves with algebraic equations, and he did have help from a common housefly. So if you can see, it doesn't matter if it's going this way, see, or if it's going horizontally this way, see, this is landscape printing, and this is portrait printing. And if you look at this, you can see we've got a number line going this way and a number line going this way, don't they? And see how they meet in the middle at zero? All right. Well, a coordinate plane is made of two number lines. One's horizontal and one vertical. And they're called coordinate axis. And the horizontal number line is the x-axis going right or left, and the vertical number line is the y-axis going up or down. Now, this is not a typo. This is plural for axis, okay? They both meet and cross each other at zero. And this zero point for both number lines is called the origin. It's the very center. That's the origin. So you can see this arrow is pointing continually going this way, and it's continually going this way, and that's the x-axis. And the y-axis, y points to the sky, see? That's one way to remember which one is which. y points to the sky. Now, if you look at this, the size of the coordinate plane is infinite because these arrows are going in each direction. And on paper, we're limited by the size of the paper and the size of the squares, but the arrows for x and y show that the plane continues on and on for infinity. See? So on this coordinate plane, because the paper is this size and the squares are this size, we go from the origin 0 to a 10 at the end of the paper. And on here, look at, it goes up to 8. Well, that's because of the size of the squares and the size of the paper. Look at this one. This one's going up to 19 for the y, and it's going to 14 over here for the x. See that? So it depends on the size of the squares and the size of the paper, but actually the coordinate plane goes on for infinity. Think of a huge open field that you can't see any trees or buildings in any direction. Okay? Or a huge desert that is flat and in all directions it just goes on forever and ever. Even up, you know, going on an angle this way from, you know, all points. It just goes big every direction, okay? So on a number line, each point is the graph of a number. When we did number lines in grade school, we said, oh, that's we're going to graph this number on the number line. Well, on a coordinate plane, each point is the graph of an ordered pair of numbers. So there's two numbers of an ordered pair, and they're the coordinates on the plane. So we have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, and the x is always first and the y is always second. The x is also called the abscissa, and the y is also called the ordinate. So we can actually plot points on this by using this x and y ordered pair. So think of it this way. If someone said to you, oh, you know, they called you up and they said, I need a ride home, can you come pick me up? And you said, okay, where are you? And they said, I'm on Main Street. Would you know where they were if they just said they were on Main Street? But what if they said they were on Main Street and 3rd Avenue? What if they were right here? Because you could say, oh, okay, I'll just drive up and down Main Street forever trying to look for you. But the minute they give you a second location, Main Street and 3rd Avenue, where they cross, see? Now you know exactly where they're located. So that's how we plot points. See, we need cross streets for a location. So if someone says, oh, it's at a 5, on the x, well, that doesn't help us to know where the point is. We just know that it's on Main Street somewhere. See? It's the same thing. But the minute they give us this 2, we know we can go to the 5 on the x. See? And we can go 1, 2 for the y, and we know our point is right here, and we know the location. See? So you have to have two points that meet together. See?
That's the ordered pair. Now, if you look, you see these red words, this quadrant. There's four quadrants on the coordinate plane, and they make the shape of a C. It goes one, two, three, four. And a lot of people get confused, and they think it starts here and goes one, two, three, four. Well, that would be a backward C. That's not how it goes. It goes in the shape of a C for the word coordinate. That's a good way to remember it. Quadrant 1 starts here, and that's where both x and y are positive. These are positive numbers for x, and these are positive numbers for y. The minute we get into quadrant 2, you can see we went past 0, and now we're in the negatives for x, but we're still in the positives for y. See? When we get to quadrant 3, we're in the negatives for x, and we're in the negatives for y. They're both negative down here. When we get into quadrant 4, and these are written in Roman numerals, we have a positive, whoops, we have a positive for x, and we have a negative for y. Because see, now these are positive numbers for x, but y is negative. So see how it went positive, positive, then negative, positive, then negative, negative, then positive, negative. See? And see how these are opposite each other? The x is negative, the y is positive. The x is positive, the y is negative. And look how these are opposite each other. Positive, positive, negative, negative. See? And the quadrants are in the shape of a C. See? So just remember, on each side is 0. That's where it changes from negative to positive, just like on a regular number line. OK? And axis is the plural for axis. OK? All right. Our next video is going to be 7.1b. And we're going to actually graph ordered pairs. We're going to plot some points. That's what it's called, plotting points. Now, I made a, a similar video about coordinate planes for grade 6. And you might want to watch that one, too. It's not that much different than this one, but it might give you a little more information, OK? And I'll have links to those videos in this description, all right? OK, I'll see a 7.1b. I hope you found this interesting. You might even want to go on YouTube and look up Rene Descartes and the house fly, OK? And find out the story about how he was laying in bed and watched a fly crawling around, all right? I'll see you. Bye.